how it feels to drink G Fuel Energy with code DEMAGEOFR. Stimulate your senses. Alrighty boys, welcome back once again to another video. How are you guys doing? Guys, today we're going to be going over the shark attack within Fortnite Save the World, and this is the newest launcher to find its way into the game, and it's quite literally a launcher that shoots out sharks with dynamite in their mouth that murder every single thing in front of it. It's pretty great, it's pretty hilarious, and I absolutely love it. So yeah guys, today's gonna be a little bit of a different video because well, we've never really quite reviewed a weapon that's quite like this. Um, I do want to say before we jump into it that I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Uh, yesterday I was busy with some family stuff and I wasn't able to stream on Twitch. So this video is my first ever coverage of the shark attack. Whereas usually I kind of do a first impressions live on stream and discuss with you guys about a bunch of stuff. But today we're just jumping into it and talking about the weapon because I, well, I, I want to review it. And one more thing before we jump into it, shout out to my man Smurf for using my code at G. Fuel.com and helping support the movement of a future shaker cup being sold on the site But let's go ahead and jump into the video finally talk about the shark attack damn it It's a pretty cool gun if you guys do want to unlock this weapon You guys can actually go and look at the newest quest line that got added to the game literally today or like yesterday by the time you're watching this, I don't know. Um, yeah, there was a new quest line that got added to save the world, and this was one of the last rewards that you were able to get, or the last reward, and that's pretty much how you unlock the shark attack. So we'll go ahead and jump into it with a little bit of the perk and some stat discussion and whatnot. Uh, the perks on this weapon should be no surprise to really anyone because crit is just ridiculously overpowered. We have a crit damage, crit damage, crit rating, energy, and a damage, with the final perk of being damaged dealt with this weapon near as the target by 30% for 6 seconds. Now, now, the, uh, the description on this weapon says this, it's an explosive weapon, grenade launcher, holiday fun. It says, uses explosive ammo to lob bouncy toy shark grenades that damage groups of enemies in a moderate radius when they explode. Basically, this weapon is like a rocket launcher, grenade launcher hybrid in the sense where it kind of shoots at the arc of a rocket launcher at first and then they kind of dip down and then bounce all around like a grenade launcher. Um, it's pretty fun. It's, it's a genuine fun combo. And I really do like it. You can kind of angle yourself at a, at a certain angle towards trap tunnels and have them bounce all around in there until they hit a husk and kill them. And even whenever you're using them against propane husk, if you kill the propane husk with one shot, it won't even blow up the propane because it disappears whenever, you know, they actually die. So pretty interesting mechanics and it's pretty fun, pretty useful as well. Um, moving on to the stats, we have around 203,000 damage, a 38% crit hit chance with 320% crit hit damage. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is that you can put a double crit rating on this weapon the reason i do not is for one we're using totally rocking out as our build so we don't need to but two the way that crit works on a rocket launcher is that if you hit five enemies with one rocket every single one of those enemies each have their own chance to have a crit happen to them so basically the more enemies that you shoot at once the higher chance you actually have of a crit it doesn't crit on all of them and it doesn't non-crit on all of them you know what i mean it's gonna crit maybe three out of the five two out of the five four out of the five or maybe five out of five you know so that's the way that crit works you don't necessarily need to try to make it super high on rocket launchers because you'll be critting on a lot of enemies either way but if you're trying to go for single target damage then that's kind of when it's going to matter uh the fire rate doesn't really matter because weapons like these don't have a fire rate because you only shoot once and then reload the range is 512 the durability is 150 the reload time is 1.8 and the impact is actually a really good 20,000, which is only 5,000 behind the Santa's Little Helper, uh, which is pretty decent. So those are the perks that we went with on this weapon and everything, you know, kind of involving it. Uh, the loadout that I ended up using was Demolitionist Penny, where previously I wasn't really into using these launcher heroes, but ever since they reworked them, I don't really mind playing as them anymore. Uh, totally rocking out as a team perk with Battle Beat and Sub Wafers as our support team. Sorry and Might, Locked and Reloaded, and Plasma Arc. Sorry and Might will give us more damage, you know, the higher that our health is locked and reloaded give us more damage after a reload and plasma arc will allow us to chain energy damage to all the other enemies and the reason i went with this specific support team is because it benefits every single weapon outside of launchers as well now moving on to
to some smasher tests we have some tests with some elemental boys and some physical boys and do keep in mind that this is energy so it's not going to be doing you know anything extra to the physical ones and against the elemental ones we will have a 25 percent damage reduction and looking at these tests they're pretty good. I mean, le let's be honest here. They're doing pretty good damage. It's got really good single target potential. So if you do find yourself in a situation where you do need to use it on a singular husk, uh, it's pretty good. It is pretty useful for you to do that. Uh, I just kind of recommend shooting at groups of enemies anyways, though. But if you do find yourself against a singular smasher or like a mini boss or something, you're really not wasting out on much by attacking them. Now, whenever it comes to the single target damage potential uh, with this weapon, whenever it comes to buy your Yourself and with a group uh, here's a screenshot of me testing it out on the mythic storm king crystal and i was able to hit around 919,326 uh, in a solo game so just under a million with this build and using this rocket launcher with the same perks um, whenever i was playing in a full squad the most consistent crits that i was seeing was around 1.2 to 1.3 million but i was also seeing around 1.8 million but i believe that is uh one of the bugs that's in save the world that causes the damage damage numbers to combine into one if you shoot a huge group of enemies sometimes the damage numbers will combine into each other to make one singular damage number amongst you know a few other ones here and there um it's a glitch that the game has had for a while so it might not be hitting 1.8 million unless that's been patched out but i really wouldn't know about that because we don't get patch notes so just keep that in mind you're gonna get around 919,000 in solo and upwards let's say 1.5 million whenever you are playing with four players now i know that a question on a lot of your guys' minds is how exactly does this weapon compare to other weapons in the category? Well, we'll compare it with kind of the end-all be-all rocket launcher, the Santa's Little Helper. I did a comparison between the Santa's Little Helper and the Metal Marauder a while ago, and the Metal Marauder came out with higher damage and whatnot, but it had really low reload speed, which kind of brought it down, as well as some higher impact, which made it really good and stuff like Endurance and Frost Knight. Uh, but the Santa's Little Helper has always been kind of king of the rocket launchers when it comes to damage. Well, taking a low look at the shark attack versus the Santa's little helper both of these have very similar roles as well as both are energy you will notice that the shark attack only has around less than 20,000 damage away from getting upwards to the Santa's little helper and it also has a much better reload time of 1.8 and a pretty decent impact to compare to the Santa's little helper on top of that so theoretically the more that you use the shark attack and the more that you know you are fighting over the course of a fight you may actually edge out that damage against the Santa's Little Helper in terms of dealing more damage over time, which is a pretty cool thing for the shark attack because it's a genuine fun weapon. It's pretty wacky. You know, you're shooting out toy sharks with dynamite in their mouths. It's a really, really wacky weapon. But seeing it be able to compare to the likes of the Santa's Little Helper made me really happy because I genuinely enjoy this weapon. And at the end of the day, it's not even a meme weapon. You know, it's actually something that you could genuinely use and be successful with. And I find that pretty awesome because every single thing that's been releasing in this holiday fun set or the toy weapon set has been really good and I do plan on going back and you know checking out some of the other toy weapons that I have yet to review and maybe making a tier list on top of that as well um, but these toy weapons all have really weird functionality and they're all kind of meme weapons at heart but they actually do perform really well and the shark attack I think is probably one of the best proponents of this where it does the most out of any of the other ones that are in the category uh, it functions very differently than any other weapon where it's kind of like a rocket launcher grenade launcher hybrid it bounces around it squeaks and explodes it's really cool and it's it's the kind of save the world weapon design that i absolutely love about this game i love whenever the art team and the save the world devs put together something that's truly really really cool on the likes of the grave digger the jack launcher and the ghost pistol even ginger blaster as well um i like seeing weapons that are like this that are really really unique and really fun to use and are actually useful on top of that and the shark attack turns out to be one one of those weapons. Now, before I do in the video, I want to go ahead and do a quick little mini showcase of three different wraps that you can actually use with this weapon. As you guys know, in my more recent videos, I've been trying to showcase at least three at the end of the video um, to kind of showcase what this weapon looks like with different ones on it. And the three that looked best to me was the Ripley wrap, the well wrapped wrap, and the Ripple. Uh, the Ripley just kind of reminds me of kind of ocean water, even though in reality it's like a slurp monster. Um, the second one being well wrapped, it just really encapsulates the fact that it's a Christmas toy and it's you know all wrapped up and whatever and the last one being Ripple it just looks like ocean water just water in general and it looks perfect with the fact that it almost matches up with the shark 
entirely perfectly so it looks really cool i do like these wraps on the shark attack and personally i do feel as though that they are the best looking but if you guys have any other ones definitely make sure to drop them in the comments so let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below that is pretty much it for this video and uh yeah i just genuinely enjoyed this weapon so i'm really curious what you guys think but yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video make sure to leave a like on the video if you did like it dislike it if you did not subscribe if you're new because i make videos like this almost every single day and i'll see you guys next time